right, welcome. We got Wednesday hump day morning. Um, hopefully you guys are feeling good. Weather is awesome out here. It was great yesterday. Um, hopefully that kind of stays this way, at least until Halloween comes and goes. Um, yeah, all right. Well, let's get moving here today. We're gonna do just some sidero, or sidero, side lateral movements here. Okay, nice and simple to start. <clears throat> Woke up with an, I feel like I say this all the time, another injury. Um, I think I rolled my ankle on the weekend a little bit. It is way more tender today than it was on Monday. So this is actually not the most comfortable of movements for me this morning. Hopefully you guys are all healthy, feeling good. <laughs> all right, a little bit of speed this up. Okay, now we're just gonna do some karaoke. Okay, so crossing over and behind each foot. Okay, nice fast feet. We don't need to be moving really fast laterally. We just wanna move those feet as fast as we can. Awesome job. Nice and quick. All right, faster, fast as we can. Perfect, come on into the center. Okay, we're gonna do eight squats, really nice and deep. That's it. Try to bring that bomb all, all the way to the ground. Okay. Hands out in front of you. If you're feeling like you're losing your balance, all right, counterweight for us. Be able to help us out get, get down further. Perfect. All right. So one little thing before we start, we're just gonna get you to jog forward and jog backwards, okay? Excellent. Try not to trip when you're going backwards or trip on your equipment that you have out. Awesome. All right, come on into our center. Into our dynamic warm up. Okay, bring that right knee up to the chest. Clasp it with both hands. Squeeze, let it down, repeat on the other side. Good. Switch, back to the right. Nice big squeeze at the top, right? Hold it for two seconds and then come on back down. Okay, so scoops, front leg, A leg out in front straight. Flex that knee, foot, straight leg, bend at your hip. Ooh, and scoop that air. Oh, a little tight this morning. This feels excellent. Okay, six times or so each side, just so we can get a nice stretch on those hamstrings. Good. All right, stand them up, nice and tall, grabbing that right foot, bringing it into our butt. Okay, keeping those knees together. Push that foot out if you'd like. But don't let it move, obviously. Switch, just shake on the right, moving to the left, same thing. Good. Switch. One more time each side. Good. Left. Right. 
Right on. Okay, coming down. Warm up those hips, okay? Bring that knee up nice and high in front of you. Swing it out to the side. Keep that knee up as high as we can. Four times each way. Trying to keep that balance. Again, if balance is a really big issue, finding a wall that we can hold on to in front of us to help us do uh, our reps here to get warmed up. Okay, so reversing it, we're gonna go out to the side to start. Okay, bringing it back into the front. Nice and high with that leg. Good. Excellent. Walk back in our space. Okay, big step with that left foot. Left hand's coming down inside the left foot. Right hand's coming up. Rotate open. Good. Keep opening that chest. Down. Come on back up. Going the other way. Right foot. Right hand down. Okay, left hand's coming up. Whew. Feeling a nice stretch of my right hip. Apparently that's pretty tight. Open. And down. All right, come on, return up. Grab your water. Okay. Then we'll get into what we're doing today. Okay, so first exercise today, we're gonna do a single leg lateral touch squat. All right, so you can do this with no weight. I would suggest starting them with that, okay? I have just a small weight just to give me a little bit of a counterweight in front of me. So what we're gonna do, have our feet fairly narrow to start with, okay? Um, yeah, I'll show you this angle first. We're gonna bend, but as we bend, we're gonna lift one leg, and that leg is gonna come out to the side and come on back up. So, it's almost a single leg squat. Single leg squats are very, very, very difficult, okay? So, that's why we're coming out to the side to give us a little bit of better balance to the side, okay? Normally when we do side squat, lateral squats when we're moving, or a side lunge, those hips are coming out with us as we go, okay? These ones, our hips are gonna stay underneath us, and we're gonna try to go as low as we can and come on back up. Some of you might only get to here, but that's okay, okay? We're working on strength with the range of motion that we have, all right? If you feel like you have a really good range of motion and you can get down quite far, do it. But we are going 10 total times, so five each side, we're gonna alternate, okay? So we're gonna go out, come back, and then we're switching sides, okay? Remember, keeping our hips underneath us, not letting them sway out to the side. All right. Remember, 10 total, five each side, alternating, ready? Let's go ahead. Good. Okay, keeping that knee as stable as possible. We don't want you when you come out to let that knee come in or go out to the side, all right? Keep that front knee that's staying in that bent position. Nice and stable. Again, going as far as we think we can go, right? This is a fairly difficult movement, all right? All right, great job. Might not feel too bad right now, but by that third set, I promise you, if you are working hard enough, <laughs> you're gonna feel it. All right, so if you have a heavier weight right now, grab it or multiple smaller weights. If you don't, right now I've got a 35. Okay, we've done hip thrusters before. Okay, these are gonna be dual. All right, so we're gonna lay on our back, bring our heels fairly close to our butt. We're gonna lift those hips and they're gonna stay up as high as possible. Okay, that is a hip thrust. 
two additions to that, all right? So I'm gonna add a weight and I'm just gonna have it kind of sit on my hip girdle, okay? If we have it too low sitting on our stomach, that weight is not gonna get transferred into the movement itself. The lower that we can have it on that hip girdle, the better. So find a comfortable spot. Secondly, once we get to the top, we're gonna open our hips or our legs as far as possible. So we get a lot more glute engagement with this exercise, okay? So it's gonna hopefully <laughs> look something like this. Okay, squeeze those glutes together at the top. You're gonna probably feel a little bit in your lateral hip as well, kind of that hip joint itself, all right? And the glutes right in our butt, all right? So we're gonna go 10 total reps here for this one. All right, so grab a weight that you wanna give a go. All right, and let's rock out 10 reps. All right, try not to go too wide with those feet to start with, because then there's no width gained once we get to the top. All right. That lower back is arched. Okay, we're going 10 reps here. Good job. All right, that one's not the most super difficult. It's hard to get um, a whole lot of depth with it. So adding that weight is important with that one. All right, so next one we have two options. So it's gonna be a uh, dual dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever you have at home row um, paired with a tricep kickback, okay? The more complex version, if you will, okay, narrow feet, slight bent in the knees, bending over at our hip, okay? Going both at the same time, row, kick back, slow, kick back, slow as well, okay? We don't wanna go here and let it go, right? These dumbbells shouldn't go 10 feet flying if we let them go at the back, okay? Nice, slow movement in, slow movement back in, out and back in, all right? If that is maybe a little impinging on your lower back, what you're gonna do is just kneel down, okay? Same idea, slight bend in our hips, coming to here, row, kick back, back down, all right? So, give both a go. If you wanna start standing up and then you feel like huh, that might be too much for you, go back down onto your knees, all right? So, we're going eight total times, all right? Let's go ahead. When you're trying to pick a weight here, I know we've already started, but think about a weight that you're gonna be able to kick back, right? The row is not going to be the hard part here. Okay, it is the row itself, or sorry, the kickback itself that's gonna make this even more difficult for you. Remember, we're going eight reps. Good, come on. Right on, all right. One time through, not too bad for time. We just might need to, maybe a little long-winded on those explanations, but it's important to do them correctly, all right? Grab your water, grab some water. All right, and then we're gonna start back into that single leg lateral toe touch, okay? Single leg squat lateral toe touch, whatever we wanna call it. All right, let's go ahead, 10 total. Alternating, all right, good. This position should look familiar, right? Like we're skating. Pushing up on that foot, through that heel, through that midfoot. <clears throat> the one that's staying in center. Whew. Great job. All 
All right, we're back to our hip thrust. So maybe you feel like you went a little bit light last time we did this. See if you can go a little heavier here. Right, those glutes, that butt muscle, those are some of the strongest muscles that we have in our body. Don't underestimate them. All right. Let's go ahead. Remember, not too wide with our feet. We want some width once we get to the top. Push up with those heels. Right, your toes can come up off the ground if you like. Wide with our knees once we get to the top. Good, right on. Way to go. All right, mental note again. Next time we come back to that, maybe you went up in weight. Maybe you need to go up even more next time we come back. All right. So, row to kick back. Eight total times. Okay, control movements. Right. Time under tension is what we're looking for, right? That's gonna help us with muscle building, okay? The longer those muscles are stressed out, the more essentially that they're ripping so they can heal themselves, okay? Gaining strength and hypertrophy, so growing muscles. Eight total. Awesome. Round two complete. Grab our water. Good. Excellent. Round three. All right. 10 single leg lateral toe touch squats. <laughs> right, five each way, alternating. Going as low as we can. Keep that butt backwards. Right, that weight shouldn't be coming out onto our toes. Right on. Whew. Not my favorite. It's a good one. All right. Again, back into our hip for us. Picking a weight that's difficult here if we can. All right. Down. Narrowish feet. Weight on those hips, that pelvic bone. All right, up and wide. Push with those heels. That's it, all the way up with those hips. There's some fire going on <laughs> in that hip girdle for sure. All right, grabbing those weights. Last exercise for part A. Then we're gonna move on to B. Okay, eight row to kick back. Right on. Maybe you started 
We have fives or eights or tens here. If you're dropping down at this point, that's good. You're working hard. If you're barely scraping by to get those eight reps, again, excellent. Whew. Right on. All right. Part A is complete. Grab your water. I'll let you know what we're going to do. I'm going to find my remote. Perfect. Four, eight. Oh, that's wrong. Hold on. Sorry, guys. We are We're going to do a 20 second uh, work period. We're going to do burpees. Okay. We've done them before. All right. Down out into our plank position. Come on, get back up. A little bit of a hop. Okay, 20 seconds of that. We're gonna get a 20 second rest. And then we're gonna go down into some plank toe touches, all right? So back out into our plank position. We're gonna raise that butt up. That right hand is gonna touch the left toe. And you're gonna come on back down. And then that left hand is gonna touch the right toe. And then come on back down, all right? So that butt's going way up in the air. Right, we're not gonna be maybe as stretched out as we would for that full plank. Those feet are gonna be just inside. So we have room to come up into that nice high uh, pike position. All right. All right. 16 rounds. So we're going in 10 seconds. Okay, three. Two burpees to start. Let's go. Good job. Get as many as we can in this 20 seconds. And break. 20 seconds. Excellent. <laughs> Done lots of that Tabata where it's only 10 seconds rest. We're getting that big rest today. Okay, plank toe touches. Ready? And down. Okay, pike. Right hand to left toe. Return. And switch. And stop, slowly getting up from here, right? That head is kind of down before. Stay one knee, slowly standing up. All right. 10 seconds we go, good job. Back into burpees, go ahead. Let's go, keep going, five seconds left. Great, awesome. Deep press, 10 seconds. Two, one, and down. That's it. Alternating, right? Alternating hand to foot. Break. Again. Slow to get up here. 
so we don't get too lightheaded. Uh, I think that's halfway. Okay. All right, burpees in five. And go. Come on, keep pushing. Keep moving, right? That is the important part here. If you slow down, that is more. Break, acceptable, okay? Slowing down is fine. Please don't stop. Push through. All right, planking. Two, one, and go. Awesome, come on. I know you're getting tired. Break. One more time. Each exercise. Okay, you got this. Let's push. 10 seconds. Five. Two, one. Let's go. Last burpees. Come on, keep pushing. Let's get a couple more. And break. Way to go, no more of those. 20 more seconds of work. 10 more, we go. Last time. Five. And down. Come on, I know you got this. There. Woo! Way to go. <laughs> That's fun. Oh. All right, stand it up. We're gonna cross our feet over. Okay, right foot in front of left. Now we're gonna bend at our hip. Okay, let those arms fall. Okay, trying to touch those toes, touch the ground, whatever we can get for length here. Okay, trying to push further and further into this stretch. Awesome. Up, nice and slow. Switch. Right, left leg over right. Okay. Down. All right, let them fall. That's awesome. Once this is done, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that single leg squat too hard a great challenge too easy maybe whatever you think come on up okay nice and wide with our feet okay bend at our hip we're gonna walk our hands to the left okay so body shoulders turn into our left side Breathe here. Walk them back in the center. Over to the right. Right on. Almost there. All right, down onto the ground. Okay, bring those into all fours. Bringing those hips back down onto our feet, hands above our head, tinting those fingertips. 
what's that head for? Good job, keep stretching. I think that's my favorite stretch in the world. All right, bring those hips forward, lay them on the ground. Arch that lower back, look on up to your ceiling. Keep breathing. All right. Come on up out of that. That's all I got for you today. Thank you guys for showing up on a Wednesday. Again, uh, Ellen here at lunch. And then a full schedule again tomorrow um, for our Thursday. All right. Take care. Have a great rest of your Wednesday.